guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you today with a news flash, a big one. <laughs> so guys, as you can guess from the title, the thumbnail and what you can see at the bottom of this screen right now, IGG seem to have another game in development and it hasn't been released yet, like for pre-registration, any advertising or marketing. So it seems like it's all closed quarters at the moment regarding this new game. But some information was passed to me which I've looked into and it's legit by the looks of it. So here we go guys, it's time to break open this uh, bad boy and see exactly what's going on. So let's get into this together. So let's take a look. So first of all you can see here it states on the game news that Mobile Royale is the next game from Lords Mobile developer IGG. Okay, as you can see this was posted only a couple of days ago. And there you have it, there's the image of what looks like a hero, it's saying build your empire. Looking at the graphics it looks like it's moving more towards other, what other developers are doing like Iron Throne and also Rise of Civilization. So straight away I'm thinking okay, so rather than update the core game mechanics of Lords Mobile, you're just going to build a whole brand new game to try and combat those other two developers. I don't know how that's all going to work but before we make any assumptions guys let's just go on and see what this says. So it says that while rumours have been swirling around for some time about IGG's next game, the studio has so far remained tight lipped about the follow up to its blockbuster strategy title Lords Mobile. Until now. IGG's next game and its first in three years is called Mobile Royale and it's a real time strategy MMO coming to an app store near you in 2019. So it looks very similar guys doesn't it? <laughs> anyway let's keep going. Mobile Royale will see you cultivating a city and building trade links and other cities across game world as well as joining guilds, forming alliances and fighting of course. You'll need to train troops of many kinds, yeah I bet, <laughs> and build an unstoppable army, right? Every pixel of Mobile Royale will be on a single server so the whole world can play together. The game will even translate languages in real time. Well, does that kind of... Well, it doesn't actually do that in Lords Mobile. You've got to click a button, but other than that. Uh, so there'll be no barriers to mutual cooperation or destruction for that matter. IGG has gone to town on the presentation, lacing Mobile Royale with fantastical details like giant airships and floating forts, all in gorgeous 3D. Uh, the lore is all there too. The team has created a rich fantasy world in Volandia, aka the land of plenty, aka the blessed land, aka get ready with your credit cards guys. <laughs> Volandia is populated by five races including humans, dwarves and elves. It's also swarming with monsters that you can hunt at your leisure for resources and crafting equipment. Okay, clashing of clans. Okay, you can see a picture there for epic strategy battles. It says there are 10 clans fighting it out for domination in the chaotic clan wars all with their own backstories and motivations to fight. You can choose which campaign to join, giving you a number of different ways into the story. Plus, handily enough, a guardian dragon has decided to take up your cause, helping you both to develop your city and to, to kill your enemies on the battlefield. Okay, in amongst all this carnage, you can choose your allies and adversaries writing your own story into the history of Mobile Royale's sprawling fantasy universe. You'll be able to register for Mobile Royale first in Taiwan, Singapore, Hong Kong, Macau, Canada, Australia, Norway, New Zealand, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Netherlands, India and the rest of the Philippines. If you're lucky enough to live in one of those territories, stay tuned for a release date. Well I live in the UK guys and I do not see the USA there so ouch you know who knows when it's going to come to the rest of the world who knows while rumors have been swirling for some time about IGG's next game the studio has so far uh, but that's the same thing okay so basically it goes on and it repeats itself and there's also a pre-registration video which it says it's on YouTube but I've looked on YouTube and I can't find it anywhere so God knows how this is being hosted I have no idea whatsoever but what I'll say is this I don't know if this was the was this the right move. I mean, everybody's just invested in Mythic Gear. Now, I'm not saying that Lords Mobile is going to end, and I think it's important for us to think that. I mean, that's the first thing that comes to my mind was, oh my god, everybody's just invested in Mythic Gear, and now you're bringing out a brand new game. But 
I don't think it's nothing too much to worry about if I'm trying to keep a nice balanced view of this here. I mean, they had Clash of Clans. They then brought out Lords Mobile. Oh, I just dropped something. Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, Lords Mobile and Clash of Clans is still really bu bu busy you know lots of people still playing it um, lots of popular stuff going on YouTube about it so it hasn't died so I don't think that's gonna happen with Lords Mobile either I just think it will be another choice if you want to go and play this new game then you can go and try it out um, it's up to you but I, you know it is what it is I don't think it's bad really I guess not I mean game developers don't just sit with one game I guess it's just harder when you've got a game like Lords Mobile that takes so much of a heavy investment, you know, when you see another game come out, you kind of worry what that means for the game they've already got. Because I hear a lot of people saying that play games like Clash of Clans, that they don't update the events, they don't get no decent updates. It's just really annoying. That like, kind of like goes into the back of their mind. And I just hope that doesn't happen with Lords Mobile. If they're bringing out a new game, then great. You know, good stuff. I like to see IGG, you know, moving forward at times, making new games, making better games, because that's how game developers work in general. I just hope they don't forget about a game like Lords Mobile that has actually got a big community and a lot of people that have spent a lot of money on the actual game itself. So we all wondered why the Mythic update come out. Well, there you go. They wanted to boost their funding so they can obviously work on this new game. This is where the, this is where the mindset's been, I guess, for quite some time. Rather than being on putting actual core updates into Lords Mobile, they've just basically put paid updates in to kind of boost the profits to help them pay for this new game. It makes sense from a business perspective, guys. A lot of you are going to moan and complain about that. Not exactly over the moon about it, but from a business perspective, I guess it does kind of make sense. If you want to set up a new game, you need funding. It's simple as that, but hey ho. Anyway, guys, we're going to end this video today with the trailer that we just looked at just there. I'm gonna play that out and end the video. But there you go, guys. You heard it first here on the Worthy Prince channel. New game coming next year from IGG. Leave your comments in the comments below. Let's discuss it. And until the next time, stay safe and peace out.